The reason why I get frustrated on a problem like this is not because people are texting when they shouldn't be, but because students are misconstruing this problem as a multiplication problem. Yes, we're going to go over multiplication. But what I want you guys to understand is between these two complex numbers, there's a subtraction symbol. So we are subtracting. We are not multiplying. Yes, I know that's in parentheses. That's in parentheses. But between the parentheses, we have a subtraction symbol. So the best thing I like to uh, remind you guys of is when you guys learned how to subtract numbers, one of the first things you guys learned about subtraction was, or especially even with negative numbers, was to rewrite it as an addition problem. I can rewrite 1 minus 4 as 1 plus negative 4. Does everybody agree with me? It's going to give you the same answer, right? 1 minus 4 is the same thing as 1 plus 4. So what I'm going to do is rather than subtract, I am going to rewrite this as an addition problem. And when I do that, I have to negate everything I'm subtracting by. So if that's a positive 4, it now turns to a negative 4. If that's a negative 3, it now turns to a positive 3 pi. Okay? You don't have to do this. You can subtract them if you want to. But I think it's always easier to replace it as an addition problem. So now I only combine my real and my imaginary. So are we adding or is it Well, I change it to an addition problem. So now it's negative 3 plus negative 4, which is negative 7. And 2i plus 3i, which is 5i. And notice how I wrote the i at the end, because everything has to be in the form a plus bi when we're writing complex numbers. Why don't you change negative 3 and plus 2 on that? Negative 3.